It may not mean nothing to y'all, but understand nothing was done for me. So I don't plan on stopping at all. I want this shit forever, mine, ever, mine, ever, mine. I'm shutting shit down in the mall. It's telling that girl she the one for me. And I ain't even planning to call. I want this shit forever, mine, ever, mine, ever, mine. First name greatest, like a sprained ankle boy. Uh, one of our strengths this year was just our togetherness. Um, off the court, we always hung out with each other, um, had a good time, and on the court, I feel like that uh, led to, to our success on the court because we were sharing the ball well, um, making an extra pass, communicating with each other, and we were able to have a pretty good year. Yeah, I feel the same way. The, uh, our family oriented like atmosphere that we connected with, it, it differed from last year. It was a more of, like he said, a chemistry-based family opposed to just a basketball team. Us becoming a family contribute to our success and, uh, where we got this season. Uh, we got this thing called, like, what is it called, Synergy? Yeah. And, like, they sit in, like, place so that it's, like, another way of just watching film, basically. And then uh, we also communicate through, like, Teamworks. It's like you go download it on your phone. It's an app. Everybody knows, coaches knows, our generation uses phones a lot, so... We all download it. And then if you got any appointments, like you got a meeting with your coach, you have anything like that, you just check your team works and then it'll tell you like you got a meeting with such and such, or you got a meeting with your academic advisor, or you got workouts or weights at this time. So pretty much just communicate through through either computer or through a phone. Anything at boiler ball. Yeah. Obviously, uh, social media is pretty big nowadays, so um, they're always tweeting something about us, uh, our stats from the year, pictures, um, all that type of stuff. Um, Instagram, Instagram, they have a, they have a, their own Instagram app. So yeah, follow or, us up, yeah. ball. Or PJ underscore Thompson eleven. Or Baz underscore is underscore ill. What was it? Baz underscore is underscore ill. You want to say yours too? No, I want to say mine. Yeah. Uh, some of the lingo would be damn near, finna, hella. Damn near means. Damn near. Damn near means yeah, no, maybe. In about a couple minutes. Uh, finna is heli means a lot. Hella, you know that means. I got heli bands. Uh, what else do we What do? about on the court? On you guys on the court? We be talking on the court like we know what we're talking about. Buckets. Buckets means I'm giving you buckets. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Tell me out here. Uh, no, Penny always be like, you thought, you thought things were sweet. Thought things were sweet. <laughs> Which means, like, you basically just thought something was, like, going to be easy, but it's harder than what you thought it really is. So, so um, you guys wouldn't know, but we down ball screens. So, if, a, like, if someone's going to set a ball screen, like, a big man's going to set a pick for you, our big man will yell, down, down, down. And then so we know to uh, change our position on defense so that they can go to the middle. And that's like one of our biggest basketball windows that we use is down. It's the word down. A lot of our stuff, we can't really. Yeah, we can't really. It's not, all, it's not, it's not for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like everybody's, everybody's like almost equal in all sets. But everybody, like at least one person has something that sets themselves from another. So I mean, um, I feel like we all uh, back each other up pretty good. And we do a good job of covering each other's weaknesses. So, if it's a um, some disadvantages of being a basketball player, um, for one, you're already labeled. Um, walking around campus, I mean, pretty much wherever you go, you're labeled. So um, people kind of have an idea of what type of person you are, which is completely false. Probably 99.9 percent .9 of the time. Um, another place where we have disadvantages uh, with the girls. Uh, Girls always think that the basketball guys are all the same. It's a lot of stereotypes. Like, yeah, it yeah. just it just kind of it kind it kind of kills it for the good guys because I mean I know a lot of guys that aren't basketball players that um, <laughs> are more players than I've seen uh, ever out of basketball or, or any athletes whatsoever. So I mean, hopefully we can get that stereotype removed at one point or another. Um, well, so the a few other stereotypes too, like. The athletic stereotype, I mean, the academic stereotypes. So mm -hmm. yeah. At the end of the day, we are student athletes. I mean, no, the student here, goes he's, first. He's on a scholarship for academics, so he, he would know a student comes first. Yeah, and uh, 
athlete athletics as well as academics, that's like a full time job. So you can put it just as murky, just as much work as anybody else. I feel yeah, people think that's easy. Um, the amount of hours that we put into this, um, it's ridiculous. Especially the people that take time away from practice and like team oriented events and stuff like that to um, actually work on their craft. Uh, just like a musician will work on their craft, we do the same exact thing. So uh, that's another stereotype that people gotta kind of get their, get out of their ways. Um, I think uh, playing from a, playing on a college team is a lot different than playing on a high school team. Uh, this year, it was a big adjustment for me when I first got here. Uh, the pace of the game, uh, you're playing against stronger people. Um, they're more athletic. They're quicker than you, so you have to adjust and you have to um, adjust on the fly, and um, so you can still have a, so you can still compete with them. Um, I feel like I'm not gonna answer that. We're gonna cut that one. I was gonna FaceTime from Bash. Should I turn it off? I'm yeah, just gonna. He was right. He's he fine. That. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. That was a good ass answer. Cause I didn't know how to answer. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was in the so that's that. Yeah, um, so say we play on Friday. On Thursday, we would stay at the Union. It's been a, it's like a historic thing. Like all, all the um, Purdue teams have done it. Um, they would stay at the Union just so they can't like go out, do anything stupid the night before a game. Uh, the coaches know where we're at, so they, they like to keep tabs on us. What do you mean by stupid? Stupid is in, if you're 21, going to the bars, getting drunk, um, something like that, but night before a game, so. They know where we're at. We're all focused, hanging out together, uh, talking. We're like creating the little bond that I was talking about before. Um, so that's pretty much what we do the night before a game. Perfect. What's Finn? Basil, that's I'm on. Too. I'm about to. I know it's on. Don't worry about me. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm just saying, like, you don't want to burn yourself. I ain't gonna burn myself. <laughs>